scheduled it when he was asked to, and he was asked if he, he saw himself being part of the new era and he said, that's a big question, I don't know. Obviously, he's got 18 months on his contract. Mo's got 18 months on his contract. Trent's got 18 months on his contract. Is there a, a danger that the group that you're really excited about and really excited about their potential, is there a danger that it could break up a little too quickly and not realise its full potential? No. No, I don't think so. But it's completely normal. And I, I, that was always clear when we spoke about uh, I said what I had to say, and then it was always clear that the outside world will not give you a, a second to process it, to, to think about it. It's just the next thing is, what are you doing? So, a week ago, or whenever nobody knew about my decision, it was he had 18 months on a contract, 18 months, nobody asked. So, give us a break, give the boys in, and, and of course it's about, and if I'm here, we need to create a perspective and all these kind of things, and what, what's happening next and stuff like this, that's completely normal, nobody has to worry. And by the way, that's why I say um, that this team, that the majority of everything is exactly like it is, but if you want to find somebody who is not safe now, is not, has a contract in 25, you will find it. So that's what we, uh, we I, I knew that it will happen, because you can't wait with these kind of questions. Not, not merchants not, didn't go out and say, by the way, what I want to say. Uh, so it's always about the questions, and we, we always need to answer and these kind of things. And write what you want, this club is stable 100%, and, and everything will be fine, I'm 100% sure. And the rest, we have to get through this, we have to get through your questions, we have to give some answers, and that's how it is if our people I would recommend to stay calm in this department massively. The reason I asked that as well is because obviously fans will have their concerns. They'll be fearful as to what will happen in the future as well. Very often the fans' concerns are not as big as the media might think. Because you underestimate the, the, the IQ of our of our supporters, I think. It's just they know that these kind of things come up. It's just completely normal. So there's nothing to worry about in, in this moment in time. We are in this season. And all these talks could be part of the possible destruction about this season. So, And that's in all seasons the same. Um, if you know the manager of the next season or not, it's always the same. In a moment, well, what, do you, what do you make of that? What we, uh, the boys have to think about things. That's human right. That's what you have to do, what you should do, that you just, before you make a decision about whatever you think, and that's um, completely normal. So the focus will be Chelsea. Yes. Then yes. <laughs> what difference do you see in Chelsea now compared to the one that you drew with? Oh, much more settled, of course. It's a much better. It's a day they, they, they play really good stuff. It's a really good team. I think nobody, uh, outstanding manager, obviously, and uh, nobody was having doubt about that. Um, so, I don't know what I'm not sure, but I think it's a team in form, like points-wise, won the, the, the majority of the games recently. Um, so yeah, and we and we had the, the, we played them in the first match day, and obviously there we were not great that day, and they were pretty good. And we we got a draw, which was fine for us that day. Um, we were not over the moon with our performance, but um, the point was all right. So we have we have to do better, but we are different as well since then, and that's the good news. Yeah, the way they, they obviously Chelsea had not only an incredible amount of players, but everybody knows, but they had an incredible amount of injuries as well. The players were not available for them and stuff like this, which makes life really uncomfortable for each team and for each manager. So I think now that they, they have the core group together, uh, they have the midfield they want to play, they have probably the last line they want to, because of, um, besides Reese James. Um, up front, they have, they have to play on the pitch they want to play, so that's that. That's Chelsea now, and um, for a long time they couldn't line up like that, um, and that's obviously very different. And that's why, if you go through the team, it's just it's a really, really good football team, and doesn't um, you cannot see that in the table yet. But last few weeks they made big steps in the table as well. So um, it's not important where you stand in the moment in the table; it's where where you where you go from there. And um, I expect them. To make big steps, but actually, I want them to start after our game. And in terms of the team news for Liverpool, any changes coming to the club? Maka trained yesterday, so it should be fine. Thiago trained first time, which was uh, an incredible moment. After all the months, he didn't, he couldn't, and then training the level he trains, poof, but he needs time. 
But it's anyway a wonderful, wonderful sign for yesterday. Um, no, nobody out to rescue the other boys are still in. You had an excellent performances at the weekend. Some of your younger players, Connor Bradley, James O'Connell, uh, on his debut. You've got some of your bigger hitters coming back now after injury. So, how do you manage uh, the progress of the young players that have come in and done really well, and they will always benefit more from playing more matches with the needs of obviously your, your players coming back after injury that are generally. Yeah, but a 19-year-old boy doesn't uh, doesn't need week in and week out a Premier League game to develop. So he developed to the level he is now without playing Premier League before. So it's just about that. We don't have to get bring a rush in. Or just be a wonderful sign, wonderful for for James for, as an example, wonderful for his family. I think he had, he told me first he had nine tickets for the game, and afterwards he said about 20 people. I don't know how he brought them in. Um, and uh, so it's just wonderful that he's ready to do that. I knew it before. He could have come on in the games before, but then it was slightly different position. So Bobby came on, 19 years old, eight, 18 years old, <laughs> Bobby Clark. Um, so for these boys, everything what happened this year so far is absolutely outstanding and top, top, top. Gives them exactly the right information that they have to improve still and have obviously most time to do so. It's absolutely fine. But that the whatever so-called big guns are coming back doesn't have any influence on their development. If they only could develop, if they played 20 Premier League games in a row, they would not be the talent they are, so it's all fine. And does the situation w when you, you look at, at how well the younger players have come in, and Conor Bradley in particular, um, does that offer? Why is Kwanzaa never mentioned in this moment? I just don't get that. It's all fine. I love Conor as well, but it's always Conor and Kwanzaa turned 21 yesterday. It just happens anyway, constantly. We are not the only one. I'm just surprised about it. But fine. Do you want to talk about Connor? Love talking about Connor. Does that offer hope to people like Calvin Ramsey, whose loan spell so far uh, hasn't gone well? He's got a new club now. Connor Bradley uh, did fantastically well on, on his loan spell uh, and has made it into the first team. So, so you know, does, does that offer more hope for Calvin? Yeah, of course. But but you cannot compare. No, it's a loan spell for one work out, for the other one not. So now, for example, yesterday I had Owen back in my in my office. We, 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 is that already official? Owen? Uh, is it? So that he will go back on loan? Again, yeah, it's official. Okay, good. So I, I, and, and I'm so happy how he, so Owen as well, like Calvin, had a difficult, bef before, previously a difficult loan spell. So um, didn't play in Portugal, came back then here, I think was at... Was he at Bolton as well? Bolton. And Owen Connors as well. Bolton. Owen as well. Yeah. So, and didn't play there as well. And then we were all like, huh, how can that happen? Because we really think highly of him. So, goes to Scotland, he's playing there, and he gave him a massive boost. Came, arrived here and looked like a man. Really, left back, buff, really ready to go. But now, you know, the other boys are coming back. We have the opportunity to give him that time again. Makes sense. Same Kelvin. The problem is that Kevin was too often injured. It's a, it's a horrible run of bad luck, I would say. Um, started when he arrived here, had this back problem, out for half a year, came back, knee problem, gone alone, another problem. So that, that has to stop at one point. And then everybody can see how good Kelvin can be. But now he needs consistent training and, for the body and then, of course, playing time as well. Um, so we. I had to get used to that over the years to these loan things, and it didn't work out always, but in a lot of moments, it worked out really well. And especially Connor, you're right, is a very good example um, that it helped massively. Even when we know already before he went on loan that Connor will end up in our first team. Hi. There's no need. There's no need to be, they have an impact. It's completely normal. So there was a si the decision the club knew about um, my departure already for a while. Now it could have sort of reduced the time and 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 and, and tie the players down. And then then I tell I say, by the way, I'm not here anymore. And then I say, hey, well, nobody told us that you cannot work like this, really, especially not with the relationship we have. There's enough time to do everything. These players love to be here. Don't forget that. 
it's not that they are out on one foot out. That they want to know a little bit about perspective, but that's there and that will happen, and it will happen especially behind the scenes. And the only annoying part is that is you, because everything is fine just because we have constantly answer questions. It sounds like we have. What's going on there? Why they don't do that? Why they don't do that? Why they don't do that? Because things, especially the important things, need time. So it's all fine. Don't worry. You can worry. Just for you at home, don't worry. Um, and um, it's, it's fine. The boys love this place. Um, I know that for, sh for, for a fact. And um, the rest, when will what happen, we will see. another one of these stories so there was no pressure in it besides the fact that you want to become to get fit as quick as possible anyway so but we cannot rush the, if we could rush a healing process believe me Thiago wouldn't have been out for 10 months blah 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 and all the other guys there would have been much better it's not possible you just you just do what you can do and while you're doing that we from the outside we have to wait until they're ready Mo is not ready for this game not ready for the next game And then not, so he's injured. I'm not sure if that was a misunderstanding in the beginning. He's injured, and the muscle injury takes time. And um, it could have been much worse, but it's not. he's not available at the moment. He's just doing his re um, rehab. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yep.